Hey everybody, it's great to see you. Look right over here at the screen. Are you looking? Are you listening? Are you using self-control? Looks like you are and that you're ready to join me today to learn about the Last Supper. Let's say today's bottom line, serve each other on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Serve each other. Easter is such a fun time to spend with your friends and family. Who out there likes peeps? You know, the marshmallow bunnies? I personally think that they're gross, but some people love them. What's your favorite Easter treat? Give me a thumbs up if you've thought of your favorite candy. All right, now everyone on the count of three, blurt it out. One, two, three. What? Did you say peeps? We just talked about that. Definitely chocolate bunnies. Jelly beans? I hear so many great answers. But seriously, Easter is about something much more important than just candy. We are learning about Jesus, our King, our Savior, and all the love He has for us. The final countdown has begun. In this series, we're gonna be counting down the most important event that has ever happened, the day that Jesus died on the cross. We can all be forgiven, saved, and go to heaven because of what Jesus did that day. Jesus dying on the cross didn't just happen by chance. It was a part of a huge plan that God set in motion to save us all. We're gonna be talking about some of the important things that happened right before Jesus was crucified. We'll call these events the final countdown. It's the final countdown. Today, we'll be learning about the Last Supper. This was a very important event where Jesus taught us some amazing things. We'll dive into the Bible story right before the Passover. Remember, the Passover meal was a very important day for the Jews. It was a meal that helped them to remember that God had freed them from slavery many years before. Jesus knew that this was his last meal with his 12 disciples, his closest friends. Jesus taught them how to remember what they did for all of us by using the bread and the juice from the Last Supper. Let's read it straight from the word in the book of Matthew. While they were eating, Jesus took some bread. He thanked God for it and broke it. Then he gave it to his followers and said, take this bread and eat it. This bread is my body. Then Jesus took a cup. He thanked God for it and gave it to the followers. He said, every one of you drink this. This is my blood, which begins the new agreement that God makes with his people. This blood is poured out for many to forgive their sins. I tell you this, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine again until the day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. This meal is the very reason we take communion in church nowadays. Super cool, right? Jesus did one more amazing thing during the Last Supper that we must talk about. At some point during the meal, Jesus left the table and went over to change his clothes. He came back into the room and he had dressed himself to look like a servant. What Jesus did next blew his disciples' minds. He began to wash their feet. If you have read the Bible, get ready to look this up. Let's take a look at the story straight out of the Bible in John 13, 12 through 17. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and sat down again. Jesus asked, do you understand what I have just done for you? You call me teacher and Lord, and this is right because that is what I am. I, your Lord and teacher have washed your feet. So you also should wash each other's feet. I did this as an example for you. So you should do as I have done for you. I tell you the truth, a servant is not greater than his master. A messenger is not greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, you will be happy if you do them. Stop, hold up, wait a minute. Uh, what just happened? He washed their feet? 
I know, this seems weird. But way back then, people who wore sandals in those days, and everybody had really dirty feet. Jesus, who was a king, was actually washing his disciples' feet. In their minds, only a servant should do such, such a thing. But Jesus did it to send an example for us. It was his way of showing us that we should serve others. Hey, I think it's about time for our bottom line. What do you think? Everybody, let's say, serve each other. Are you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Serve each other. Jesus knew in his heart that he would soon die for all of our sins, but he was still focused on serving others. Jesus washed their feet because he wanted to teach us a very important lesson. Love each other, serve each other. Let's say our bottom line one more time. Serve each other on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Serve each other. He knew he would die on the cross very soon, but he still chose to love and serve his disciples, even Judas, who would betray him. Wow, Jesus is amazing. Let's always try to think like Jesus. When we're spending time with our family and our friends, let's try to think of others before ourselves. Remember what Jesus did for us. Let's serve each other. Well, thanks for joining me today. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.